The history of Willits, California, is a long and rich one. The area was originally inhabited by the Pomo people, who lived there for centuries before the arrival of Europeans. In the 1850s, after the discovery of gold in the area, a number of miners settled in the Little Lake Valley, where Willits is now located. The town was originally called Willitsville, after its founder, Hiram Willits. Willits grew rapidly in the late 19th century due to the tanbark industry. Tanbark was used to make leather, and the Little Lake Valley was home to a number of tanbark mills. The town also became a major shipping center for tanbark, and it was connected to the rest of the state by the Northwestern Railroad. Willits continued to grow in the early 20th century, and it became a popular destination for people seeking a quiet and affordable place to live. The town's schools were highly regarded, and it also became a center for the arts and culture. In 1927, the Willits Frontier Days celebration was first held, and it is now billed as California's oldest continuous rodeo. Willits continued to grow and prosper in the mid-20th century. The town's tanbark industry declined, but it was replaced by the logging industry. Willits also became a major center for the hippie movement in the 1960s and 1970s, and it attracted a number of artists and musicians. In recent years, Willits has become a popular destination for retirees and families. The town's schools are still highly regarded, and it is also home to a number of parks and recreation facilities. Willits is also a great place to shop, and it has a number of historic landmarks, such as the Willits Frontier Days Museum and the Willits Opera House. Today, Willits is a vibrant and diverse city with a rich history. It is a great place to live, work, and raise a family.